The Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority is proposing to spend $350 million to add toll lanes on South Mopac. When facing the public, CTRMA likes to focus on the improvements to the eight-mile stretch from Slaughter Lane to Cesar Chavez. But here's what they don't like to talk about. That eight-mile stretch is just one piece of a massive highway toll road project that could be as wide as 16 lanes across and will connect Mopac to I-35. What does this mean exactly? It means that when people from outside of Austin are stuck in gridlock on I-35, they'll have the choice to use Mopac as an alternate I-35. By moving I-35 traffic to Mopac, it means you can expect tens of thousands more cars, trucks, and 18-wheelers daily. Plus more traffic roaring through our neighborhoods, across the recharge zone, through parks, over Ladybird Lake, and past Austin High School. There's more that CTRMA doesn't want to talk about. Did you know that there are cheaper solutions for getting traffic moving on South Mopac? Let's face the simple math. Buses move more people than cars. Our community needs park and rides as well as reliable and frequent bus service to start alleviating our congestion problems. But CTRMA has never seriously considered the less expensive and quicker solution to achieve the same results. Stripe an express lane for buses within the existing highway footprint. UT studies have shown this could work, but CTRMA hasn't told the public that. And what's their plan to pay for this expensive project? CTRMA will sell bonds on Wall Street to build these lanes, then will pay off those bonds with future tolls. With such a high cost for construction, those tolls will have to stay high to pay for it. CTRMA says the average toll, just for the eight mile stretch between Slaughter Lane and Cesar Chavez, will be $13 one way and there is no upper limit on what the toll can be when traffic inevitably gets worse. Before we replicate the months of delays and millions in cost overruns that are happening on North Mopac, let's seriously consider all of our options on South Mopac. And let's recognize that CTRMA is only talking about one small piece of it. Ask CTRMA to study lower cost solutions and look at the real impacts of connecting Mopac to I-35.